Hey folks, welcome to Grim Vendeco. And last episode, we sunk my own ship, and apparently Octopus can use submarines. And apparently submarines come with pedals. Who knew? Also too, I have a confession to make. If this video seems a little bit easy for me, it's because the last time I tried recording, it got corrupted. So there, I fessed up. I, I got a goof up, so I had to start all over again. Meaning, I had to go back and redo all that shit again from before and get back to here. And it sucks, too, because I did like two episodes, which that's okay, because all of them sucked. I mean, I was acting like an idiot the entire time, but then again, maybe idiocy is probably a good thing. But regardless, though, we're going to go ahead and venture onto uh, this area, whatever it is. Gladys, I'm going to sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. Hey, stupid octopus. <laughs> Doesn't seem stupid to me. Yeah, I mean, this place was so awkward to me, and I was trying to figure out, I was like, where the hell am I even at? But, regardless, though, this playthrough is going to be a little bit easy, it seems. But I will try to give my best reaction. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? <laughs> Ouch! If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belonged. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. I knew he was a dick, but boy, is he a Sorry, dick. Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruny. Him, I don't need. Not Gladys! Oh, you douchebag, you! I'm going to grind you to powder for that, cabron. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Ouch. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. And I have to say, I'm kind of questioning the creators of the game. Why do they have wings? And how can skeletons have wings? Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone yeah. else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. Ouch. What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? 
I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about brats. <laughs> Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry. You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? Hmm. I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. Yeah. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Uh, I think I'll okay, just say back this. to work. So mean. And I would co I would keep going on the conversation, but you talk about the most screeching and annoying whines. It's like, <laughs> hold up. Sorry about that. That was actually a uh, uh, very important phone call. But that being said, uh, we should have a tool right here. This is the tiniest little hammer I've ever seen. And the funny thing is, that's not actually a hammer. It's a pickaxe. There's a big difference between a hammer and a fucking pickaxe. Just saying. Either that or maybe the voice actor didn't know what he was saying. Oh look, it's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more or do you just want some ice for your head? Ouch. Well, that was quick. Oh, my stockings. They're ruined. And this is my best hair. <laughs> Getting a little hot for Calavera, isn't it? That was Don't quick. try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. I did not want to do that. Uh. Trying to have a conversation with Meche. Do you understand that? Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Bad thing is, she's thinking that he's betrayed her or something, you know? can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Yeah, ouch. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Yeah. And by that... Force. Please put that away. And I still don't know Thank why you. he can't use it, especially since he's the Grim Reaper. Then again, so is he, so it's kind of a face-off. I could pick him to death. Please put that, that. <laughs> okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want. Looks like I thought, never mind, let's just go on ahead. I don't think I can stand for any more of this. 
Anyway though, I spent like an entire hour trying to get this stupid elevator to work and I couldn't figure out the life of me as to why I couldn't go downward and it wasn't until I realized that you could, it just I wasn't in the right angle to where I could use it. Why, I'll never know. At any rate though, and there's Chipito. <laughs> Look at my eyebrows. Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, Amigo. <laughs> yeah. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. Our solo boyfriend of our walk alone. It doesn't look like you're walking anywhere. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust off. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bust off? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy boats never know about it. Cause you just never stop and look. That, and we weren't crazy enough to actually walk endlessly in the ocean. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. <laughs> I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What should we need? A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? Some form of blue green algae. Ah, oh, don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Yep, and we got one to trade. First off, Chipito. have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't, but I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. He got comfortable with that little chisel real quickly. Now there's one more item that we need to trade. Wait. Oops. I forgot. I forgot one item. Can't believe I forgot it. Uh, go figure. It's like, here I am. I'm back to this point already trying to redo the whole thing. And I forgot little bits of here and there, which probably a good thing, but at the same time not, because I'm acting like an idiot relatively quickly. Uh. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry Ouch. on. That had to hurt. Okay, that time will work perfectly. Huh. Maybe I just wasn't at the right angle or something? I don't know. Don't do. Gonna see Miss Liza. Hey, Chuppy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Brautella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. My question is... Do -do -do. I I'd rather not ask into that question from what he just responded with. I, I really don't. Ah, sweet. I really don't. I mean, don't get me wrong, silk is very nice and everything, but pantyhose, I I'd rather not find out. I really don't. But now that we got the gun, we can actually go on ahead and try to get through the other half. I mean, seriously, that part alone 
That part alone took me like almost an hour to try to figure it all out. Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True, a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mad days? I'm afraid to hear what mad days means. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. I really don't know what she was thinking with that plan. To think that she was going to use a gun, and according to her record, she never killed anyone, much less know how to use one, so... Why the sudden change? I mean, she had to have been locked up in here for quite a long while for her to go nutsy cuckoo. But regardless of that, we now have to go on ahead and try to get her out. So first off, we need to get the bust off. Baby! I'm getting angry! I must have hit a major circuit. Mm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. And unfortunately, this is where it gets tricky. You have to line them up perfectly. And it takes... Very... Legitimate... Concentration. I use our scythe, which, again, how would anyone know? How would anyone know? I mean, I'm sure in 1998, people were busting their brains trying to figure out. I want to mess up my blade. How to figure out this sort of puzzle? Stay. It's just the puzzles in this game is so. All right, Mitchie, you can come out now. Mitchie? It's just the puzzlers are so mind-blowing. Uh-oh. Oh, Raul. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Luckily, I know what to do here. Manny, I knew you would... Why is that door closed? Uh... It was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh. Well, you certainly destroyed her hope relatively quickly. And it's kind of in... Come on. It's interesting because... Hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. You're both dead. Why would you need air? But these suitcases these right cases? here... Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? Uh, simple. Sell them and make a living in the dead. Which, no offense, if you're dead, you might as well get used to being in peace or whatever. Come on. We got a long way to go with this stupid thing. I 
think it's right here. Nope. Thing is a little bit further. Maybe. There we go. After you. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you get the kids, and I'll meet you back here with the boat. What boat? Well, I'm working on that. Okay, Manny. Well, that takes care of that part now. Where am I going to get a boat? <sighs> I bet Gladys would know. Luckily for you, I know where Glados is. Yeah, if it ain't no surprise, he ain't dead. I'd be ground to bits. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. But yeah, we need to bust all that. <laughs> Get it? Bust all that. Uh, I kill myself sometimes. It's just, it's so hard to believe that this took me forever, forever to do all of this, to figure out all of this stupid stuff, and... Shit! I still can't believe. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. Yeah, they could destroy the whole island. But I mean, the puzzle, they were just so convoluted is like um, until you had all the pieces you wouldn't have known what to do with it it's just holy crap you talk about mine being destroyed so that takes care of that I did not want to do that Uh, wrong way. There we go. And just in case, now you're supposed to put the chain down through that area, okay? In my first original playthrough, I did it before I freed Meche. And the game froze! It froze! It just froze! I was like, what? So let's see if he'll let me do it. Well, I kind of knew I had to get out, so... Because I forgot. There we go. There we go. Come on. Quit being an idiot. There we go. Finally. Now I think... Nope. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. It's supposed to bundle up like that, and then as it goes forward, it's going to loop around that thing. That should do it, I think. Come on! Get on up! Come on. There we go. Now then, I should be able to lift it up with the crane. If it'll let me. There we go. Didn't even have to go down there to talk to Gladys. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, is the boat already? 
Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Some reef? Okay. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. He's gonna be pissed. What? Oh. <laughs> and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you weren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Magic, I... I needed to find you. Behind you. took me two fucking episodes, probably almost three hours of gameplay, I say, but now we get to go on ahead to the boss fight, which I think is a boss fight, I don't know, but I know what to do here. Grab my scythe and fight him! Okay. Uh, Ooh, this doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Tom. I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. Let's try this again. Uh what are you doing away from your desk anyway? I'm sending this domino back to the bone pile. <clears throat> well. Smart strategy? Always let your boss win. You know, your name is Domino, but you're really just a pawn. Please, save the comic book one-liners for when you're winning. Are you kidding me? That's what makes this game so likable. Let's try this again. Ouch. Just like with you selling, Manny, you got a weak attack and no follow -through. Okay, let's try this again. What the hell? Hey, I'll stop anytime you get tired. Ouch. Just please stay down this time. Oh. Come on. At least at the Christmas party you passed out before you really got hurt. Really? We're continuing on with the Christmas party shit? Did they just get into a big brawl during that? Uh, what the? Oh, please, Manny, stop showing off for the girl. Well, it looks like I got a trophy, but what am I supposed to do if I can't beat him? Uh, could it be really that simple? Apparently so! Where in the name of Kozalina? What is this place? Name? 
Bugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. What's this? Brutus! Brutus! Is that me? What happened? Glottis, where'd you go this time? What? 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 Okay. Okay, I guess maybe it was too easy for me to go through this, but what the hell? Where are we? What is this place? And where? What happened to Gladys? Music's nice. But oh well, I... Okay, I'm confused as I'll ever be at, and I don't think I care anymore, but that being said, we're already in our third year of this game, and it looks like it's getting close to the end, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say at this point. This episode was relatively easy. I do apologize if one or two of my videos got corrupted. But I promise you that from here on out, it's going to be good, and I'm going to try my best not to look up a walkthrough this time. But I may have to because the last couple of times was a headache inducing trial. That being said though, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, this is Black Cross signing off. Take care guys.